Well, this looks like a dandy of a spot to start out this morning. Today's date is December 21st. I can see them rising up. There's some deep holes in here. We've got some good cover and structure right out in front of us. We are almost right up at the dam head at Dam 3 on the Spring River. Way up to my right is the hatchery. That way, up this way. Obviously the dam. And this is going to be the run that we're going to start out this morning. There's folks fishing the chute, which is fine. Um, let's get after them. All right, kids. We're going to start out with something that worked very well for me last time up here. I'm going to switch off between this little guy. I've got this fluorescent green and chartreuse head with the red dot eye. Just a little arky jig head. And I've got that paired with a Berkeley Gulp Smelt Minnow Split Tail. It's a 1 16th ounce. Well, let's see how she does for us. I'm going to have to bob this pretty hard to keep it up. Also going to have to keep an eye on my batteries. Because these batteries aren't charge they for some reason they haven't held a charge real well so just something I'm gonna have to be mindful of now I've got a little bit swifter current right here so I'd like to try and let it drift down but I just got to see how my current is how hard I'm gonna have to pop it I'm sure I'll get snagged learning it I'm okay with that I got plenty of jig heads also see a little back eddy area if I can get out to it with what I'm throwing. The only problem with that, folks, is that I really stand uh, bogged down and it looks super shallow where it's back swirling. So I'm just going to try and keep popping it across the seam. Let's see if I can't get something to come and play. Oh, a little bite there. Just a tiny nibble. I'd like for something to chase that enough to come at it again. We got a lot of overhang here with the trees, so wait! I got mine. That's a nice one. There we go. It's a decent fish. It's a real pretty fish. There we go. First fish of the morning on that little Berkeley gulp. Number two. Pretty fish. Real pretty fish. All right, let's get you out of there, darling. Get you back in the water.
and gone. Quick release. All right. Slid down about 35 yards. This looks to be a pretty deep hole. I'm going to see what I can come up with here on a little jerk bait. Let's see what we got. <laughs> On a jerk bait. Nice little bass. Not bad, not bad. Get this out of you. Get you back in as quick as we can. On the Jekyll Bait's jerk bait. Green and yellow this time. Green and yellow. Easy there, bud. All right, see ya. I don't want to fish on top of anybody, but since that cleared out up there, I'm going to cast a few over in this corner. Oh, I'm fine. We've, we've been fishing for a while. I'll just stand right down here, if that's all right. I, I tell you, it works like a charm, doesn't it? little bass little cutie can't complain pretty little fish all righty off you go little bass oh gosh yeah man I've caught some dandies in here I'm dead serious. Over on the back side by the chute, there's some big ones. And then up there by that abandoned house right there, there's largemouth and spots in here. Really? I kid you not. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I like to jig fish. Well, you, I would think so too, but this river, if you know this river real well, it stays a consistent low 50s all year long because yeah because it's spring fed so those bass get conditioned yeah walleye you got uh, tiger muskie up there now I've, I've never caught one but i have seen one i was out in a kayak and it swam under and there's nothing else it could have been it wasn't a carp didn't look like it there's all kinds of critters in here. <laughs>